All right, Rafe has a third one. Are we just punching? Are we opening up? <laughs> Go to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Welcome back, guys. I am back once again with my degenerate Twitch chat. <laughs> Someone said, hi, mom. <laughs> and we are about to react to every Apex Legends finisher. I've actually played the game now. That video is coming soon, so look out for that. Gameplay videos take me a while to edit, so you're going to have to forgive me on that one. So as far as the finishers go, from what I remember, they're pretty violent. <laughs> The one I remember the most is Watson's. It sticks out to me in my head. Apparently, some characters have more than one finisher. So I'll look forward to seeing if Watson has another. But let's see everyone's. But before we start, I want to give a huge shout out to St. Lucius, Misunderstood, and Jake the Reaper. Thank you very much for subscribing. I appreciate it. Don't forget, if you want to shout out at the start of the video, make sure to subscribe. You may see yourself there. You never know. All right, so we're starting off with Newcastle. So this is the finisher. This is mad disrespectful, man. <laughs> he should have used them as a chair instead, though. Okay, so he has another one. Ow. <laughs> Why did he have to dance on him like that? So he has three. Does every character have three? Why does he keep dancing towards... First of all, <laughs> we all talk about how a character just said to him, you never could dance before he did that. Oh, it's Bangalore only. So I'm guessing Bangalore is saying to him, you never could dance. And then, all right, that makes sense. That's why that's happening. Yeah, so she's saying that to him. <laughs> Mad disrespectful, not to his sister. I'm going to be honest. I have to give mad respect. That she's like, you never could dance. And he's like, don't care. Does it anyway? Like, dances away? Like, yeah. Okay, so these are really short, first of all. I'm guessing every character has like two or three of these. Because Newcastle's a new character and he has three. I don't know if they add more on during each season. But I hope they're all as funny as that. Like, I love the sense of humor in these. <laughs> Me in the club after one drink. <laughs> Everyone has two or three finishes. You think Bloodhound is the only one with four? Bloodhound has four. All right, so Mad Maggie is next. We know what Mad Maggie's like. She's obviously going to be pretty brutal with it. Hers are going to be pretty nasty. All right, what you got, Maggie? Damn. Why'd she look at me like that? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> she was like, I'm not done yet. Did she just spit on him? Okay, the little hook. What is that? Mm. All right. <laughs> oh, she used a whip. All right, so apparently she used a whip. Let's see that again. What kind of whip is that? Why is it? Mm. I'm going to be honest. I don't think hers were as brutal as I expected them to be. Oh, it's the thing she uses to unleash her wrecking ball. Okay, that makes sense. It's called a bowler? Hold on. You said Maggie doesn't have a wrecking ball. It's a Beyblade? Stop it. I love Beyblades. <laughs> team Dragoon, Team Dronza. You ain't beating me, that's all. Maggie really out here letting it rip for real. I see that. All right, next character we have is Ash, Robot Lady. I'm guessing she's just quick with the blade. And I know she has like a lot of... She has like the rat in her cinematic, right? So I'm guessing that like the rat's going to be involved somehow. Hopefully not too much. All right, so they've been knocked down. What are you going to do? There's the rat. Okay. Man, these are super brief. I wish they were a little bit longed out. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, admittedly, the second one is really cool. The first one, I know she said, it's disappointing. And low-key, I kind of felt that a little bit because of how swift it was. I mean, the rat was there, I guess. We got Remy. Maybe Remy's controlling her and did the ult for her. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, the second one was hella cool. Yeah, everyone's saying that it will be bad if they were long because it's like in the middle of the game. But the Dead by Daylight ones, they go on for like longer and they're also in the middle of the game. So I feel like maybe because I've been spoiled on that before, my brain's like, damn, these are too short. Can you get shot out of doing a finisher? 
How does that work? Like, are they interruptible or can they not be interrupted? Oh, okay. So it's a risk to do a finisher because they can be interrupted. All right, it makes sense why they're shorter now. Now you put it that way, I get it. I'll stop complaining. <laughs> Next one we have is Seer, aka William Knight, aka Little Nas X, according to you guys. All right, so honestly, I know we're reacting to the finishers, but what I'm seeing is just freaking dope skins. <laughs> All right, Seer, what you got for us? All right, so knock them down. The whole constellation. Beautiful. The spin kick and the bow. I'm going to be honest. I kind of respect the bow. It was like it was a theatrical performance. Oh, what are we doing? Billy Jean? Oh, he has Beyblades. No, nah, you lot were talking about Maggie having Beyblades. But actually, Seer is the one with Beyblades. Fidget spinners? No, 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 no. You got to put more respect on Seer's name. Beyblades. But yeah, our next legend is Valkyrie. Oh, I remember one of hers, actually. Okay. If that one is not her best one, I cannot wait to see her second one. Did I just call her Valkyrie? Like the YouTuber? All right, Valkyrie, what you got? This is the one. <laughs> the disrespect. She looks like she's wearing Halo Spartan armor. That's a sick skin. All right, show us another cool one. Because that one is so good. Ow. <laughs> the little turnaround. Okay, that one's kind of cute. I think the first one is still the best one for me, though. Just the disrespect of, like, the jetpack engine, like, destroying them as she, like, launches off. Bootleg Farah from Overwatch? I guess I see the comparison a little bit. I'm gonna love Loba's unlockable one. So you have to unlock all of the finishes, then. Also, that's a good point. Yeah, her finishes did feel longer than the other ones. All right, we got the Aussie lad himself next. We got Fuse. I freaking love Fuse. Ever since I saw his cinematic where he, he lost his arm and he was just casual about it, I'm just like, dude, he's a badass. How can you not like him? I do think I remember one of his finishes, so we'll see if I'm right on that. Oh my God, oh my God. He's using the skin. It's the Santa Claus skin from Santa Claus 2. <laughs> there we go, epic. This is the one. And then he headbutts him. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, the clothesline. That one's pretty sick. I think I kind of like the clothes one. Like... What? I kind of like the clothesline one more. Like the fact that he uses kind of like the force from the explosion to blast him towards him. And then boom, Larry. Freaking dope. Okay, he has another one too. Okay, Darth Vader. <laughs> not him kissing the guns, bro. <laughs> to be honest, I kind of respect it. I'm not going to lie. And the next one is going to be our sweet little mother, Horizon. I freaking love Horizon. Like, she is adorable, dude. She's like the motherly version of that lady from Horizon Zero Dawn, which is interesting because her name is Horizon. I don't know if that's on purpose. Probably not. That's a sick skin. Why she got the same hair as Mirage here? Do you know what that reminds me of? That one hella reminded me of the impact dials from Skypiea. If you've ever seen One Piece and you've seen Usopp's impact dials, that's the exact same feeling I got. All right, what else we got? Oh, it's Kirby! There he is. <laughs> that's a dope skin, by the way. That barely looked like her. The skins in Apex look really good. What's this next one? <laughs> and she just runs away all casual. You know what I would have loved for that one? is if it just did it one more time, where it was like, sucks them up, shoots them back down, sucks them up again, and shoots them back down. That would have been just, it's a little bit extra. I know it would have made it slightly longer, but yeah. That last one might be my favorite. I think what I really like about Horizons is that she is sciency, and every single one of her finishes kind of represented how sciency she is. Like, they really do stay true to the character of each legend. Like, they're very personable. They're not just kind of like generic people that you're playing in the game. We got Rampart next. Rampart with the bubble gum. I wonder if she uses it in her finisher. Dude, I'm in love with these skins. Look at that. She got a little Kitsune mask. I love her accent too. 
any closer, I'd be behind him. Oh, oh, she used it as a battering ram. And there's the bubble gum. <laughs> I thought she were going to fire off on him. All right, what's this one? Okay, she did fire off on him. <laughs> I've seen this one before, but it's still good, dude. Yeah, that last one is brutal compared to the first one. I mean, the first one's still pretty, you know, wild. She out here just... Bing! But I thought she were going to load off. And then I felt comfortable when she didn't load off on him. And then the next one she does. <laughs> oh, chat saying, say load off again. I knew people were going to take that weird. I wasn't going to draw attention to it myself. But here we are. Anyway, speaking of, according to chat, that wasn't me. Loba is next. <laughs> Let's just check out Loba's finishes. Don't take it weird. It's too late, isn't it? I believe you, Loba. Oh, this is a cool skin. I'm going to say this about every skin. But is she orange? She looked like that one chick from um, Star Wars. What's her name? Oh, no. <laughs> Who is Anakin's disciple in Star Wars? The orange lady. Ahsoka. Thank you. I don't even know if I'm saying that right, but that's exactly who I'm thinking of. Ooh, I felt my neck. Ow. Loba. Wait, did they just start floating after that? Did you see that? They lifted off the ground. That's how destroyed they were. Oh no, Loba on Loba. That's some self-hate right there if I've ever seen it. <laughs> All right, next one is Loba's mortal enemy, of course, Revenant. Let's see what Revenant's got. Damn, that man got the long legs. Did he just say shush? <laughs> Sir, Revenant, what did you even just do? What was that? So he teleports behind. What is... Okay, I think he just... I think he just breaks that neck. I thought he was going to hit him with the Homelander and I laser beam him. <laughs> Every time I see eyes glow now, I've been watching too much of the boys. That ruined me. You said Revenant is six foot eight. Why is he an Apex legend? And why is he not in the NBA? My guy is definitely in the wrong career. That's for sure. All right. Next one we got is crypto. No currency. Hold on. I wonder if this will uh, increase my ad revenue if I talk about. <laughs> now we ain't going to do that. Um... <laughs> this is not financial advice, by the way. But. There's Crypto. Yo, Crypto's bot is sick. Like, it turns into a sword. You got the, uh, the Michael Jackson. Okay, oh, he just punching him. Yeah, he got the, <laughs> the Thriller jacket from Michael Jackson there. He's scanning. And then what? <laughs> why, why did he scan them? Couldn't he, couldn't he just robot whip them without having to scan them? What did that do? All right, so to me, the scanning felt a little bit unnecessary. And I know it kind of shows his character that he's like a hacker and stuff. But can someone explain that? Is he like scanning their face so that he can like reconstruct their face or something? Ah, oh, he's checking to see if he's a... Okay. If he's checking to see if they're part of the, the group that framed him, that would make a ton of sense. Cataloging victims makes a lot of sense too, actually. Although, why would he do that? He out here just committing crimes for fun and cataloging it when he's trying to like deframe himself. That don't make no damn sense. <laughs> he's vibe checking. Mm, that one. All right. I can get behind that one. All right. Next is Watson, who is a part of the reason why I even decided to do these. When you guys saw my reaction to, I think, Watson's first finisher, you wanted me to react to the rest of them. So here we are midway in and we're seeing more of Watson's. What? Why does she look like that? She got the ninja scroll on her back. Okay, Naruto. <laughs> she looked like that was an accident, but it was definitely on purpose. Is this the one? This is it. Him with the Thanos. <laughs> Yo, that one is wild. Like that has to be the most brutal one. Like they're electrified until they just become nothing. Like that one's insane to me. Wait, am I the only... Okay, I'm glad that I'm not the only one that thinks Watson is, like, super cute then. Because I think Watson's adorable also. And chat seems to think so. So there we go. All right. Speaking of cute, next is Octane. 
That is not what you expected at all. I have a newfound appreciation for our junkie boy Octane here after the lifeline cinematic. So, come on, sir. What are you doing? Oh, a whole grenade. <laughs> Why is he like this, dude? <laughs> that is probably one of my favorite ones in the game because it just feels so Octane. But it's also super Looney Tunes at the same time. Like his leg going off like a rabbit. I'm going to start calling this man Thumper or something. Wait, he had a pet rabbit as a kid? Like in the lore? Wait, wait hold on. Do you know what's insane? We're talking about rabbits and how he's like Thumper. Whoever they killed in this game is called Wild Rabbit. <laughs> that is an insane coincidence. And Octane had a pet rabbit that he somehow killed. This feels almost too coincidental. I don't know about all this. All right, our next one is the resident funny boy, Mirage. So it's going to be interesting to see what Mirages are. Because from memory, he's one of the few that we haven't seen any of his finishes throughout like the trailers and stuff. <laughs> Why he remind me of Shaggy from Scooby-Doo for some reason? <laughs> nah, hold on. I made a Michael Jackson joke earlier, but he just hit the moonwalk. He said, eh. <laughs> I cannot believe he just hit the moonwalk like that. <laughs> Yo, that's funny. All right, what else you got? Why? <laughs> what was the point? Oh, we got another one. Okay, so he has three. Are they rock, paper, si At this point, I'm going to need Mirage and Newcastle to have a dance-off. I think that's all I want out of Apex Legends now. You said Mirage's last finisher is a reference to Joker. I know we're playing Persona 5 music right now, and I know you're not talking about that Joker. Are you talking about the movie Joker when he, like, does the dance down the stairs? Is that what that's supposed to be? Because it's true that we live in a society, but I don't recognize... Oh, Tim Burton's Joker. Okay, it's been a while since I've seen the Keaton Batman movies, so I don't understand that reference. If you know it, let me know in the comments. All right, and next we have Caustic, who I feel like we haven't really seen much of throughout this Apex reaction series. It's in a little bit of gameplay. I saw like a lick of him during um, the Pathfinder cinematic. I think he needs his own cinematic, more of his story explained. I'm trying to see all that. Yo, okay, Master Chief, look at that. Okay, he comes towards you. Is he a cowboy? Okay, so he just knocks you out of gas. That sounds like a very caustic thing to do. <laughs> I kind of like this one, and I don't know why, but it reminds me of skunk spray. Or like, you know when clowns have a flower, and then they squeeze it and water comes out? That's what it felt like, but it was like the caustic edition of it. Alright, you got another one. Oh. Not a Valkyrie. This is a sick Valkyrie skin, by the way. I feel like caustics are kind of basic. Like, he pretty much just like, yeah, either farted on them, threw gas, or just punched them. Like, it didn't really feel like anything too special. And I feel like for, for me, like, Caustic doesn't have, like, a ton of character. All right. Next, we have Newcastle's sister, Bangalore. We did see that Newcastle had a Bangalore exclusive one. And I'm wondering if Bangalore has a Newcastle exclusive one. So I'm looking forward to seeing if that is a thing. Hey, it's actually a pretty decent skin, actually, for Bangalore. I like this one. All right, what you got? Did you just catch the... Huh? <laughs> that was actually kind of cool. She just shot the bullet and caught it. Put it back in the gun. Why did it look like a nerf dart? All right. She just shot them and walked away. <laughs> That's fair enough. I mean, it makes sense, right? They're an army vet. They would use guns a lot. I definitely think the first one was a lot cooler. Oh, it was a smoke canister in the first one that they knocked them with. Yeah, I was like, this looks like some Nerf dart looking bullet. Why did it just bounce off their head? 
It was a smoke canister. So that makes sense. Also, it just occurred to me there was no Bangalore skin. Skin? There was no Bangalore. Words are hard. There was no Newcastle interaction with Bangalore. I don't know why that took so long for me to say. So our next one. I'm hoping it's going to be bald Rafe for the culture. But like I just said, it's going to be Rafe. Oh, has Rafe got grills in this skin? Did you see that? Is she a rapper? You good? Huh? She glitched the whole game. <laughs> I like the teleportation move. Yo, I know I'm speaking about the boys a lot now, but I'm thinking about Huey from the boys. If you know, you know. The headbutt. Oh, that's cool. Okay, this is definitely our coolest one so far. That one was sick. All right, Rafe has a third one. Are we just punching? Are we opening up? <laughs> Go to the Shadow Realm. <laughs> Rafe said, you know what? I'm done with you. Shadow Realm. I love that, dude. No, I don't know where Rafe's portal finisher leads to. Where does it lead to? I joked about the Shadow Realm, but now I need to actually know. To the Void? See, I can't hear that and not think of League of Legends now. I've been ruined. <laughs> oh, the void is where her ability takes her. So the same place that I guess we saw in the first cinematic that Apex did. That makes sense. All right, our next legend. I hope he finds his son soon. Is going to be Pathfinder. I'm very much looking forward to seeing what his are because you guys at the start of the stream were saying that they're pretty good. So, hey. Also, while I'm here, make sure to let me know in the comments if you would like to see a series where I react to like the best players for each legend or just the best players in general when it comes to Apex Legends, and I'll start working on it. Also, let me know suggestions of the players and the characters that you would want me to react to when it comes to like the best gameplay. Look at my boy swinging in, in the blue, looking nice and clean. Is he doing the... Ro oh yeah, that... Yeah, not the grapple in the head. No, thank you. Wait, was he doing the robot? <laughs> All right, downed him. Yo, he's basically Spider-Man. The high five. That's the finisher. He high fives you so well that you just can't take it. I love Pathfinder. <laughs> like, that's just beyond ridiculous. I'm kind of digging, like, the idea that the... The grappling hook is like a Spider-Man type beat where he like pulls them in or like grabs them. Can you actually do that to characters in game? Because I've only ever tried it on like objects. You can grapple people. Well, that's sick. I'm going to see if I can remember to do that in the next game that I play. Wait, are you boxing, bro? <laughs> Yo, that's amazing. Because his heirloom's boxing gloves, right? What the hell relevance does Pathfinder have to do with boxing anyway? Like, I don't remember that from his cinematic or anything. All right, next is Lifeline. A newfound love for Lifeline. I always thought she had a cool design and, like, I love her hair. But after the uh, the cinematic that we got with her lately with Octane, love her even more. Oh, from what I remember, I think I actually remember her. She, like, injects people, right? Oh, wait, maybe she doesn't. What is... Is that drumstick? Is she playing drums with someone's head? What what just happened? Maybe it isn't what I thought it was. Yes, this is the one I remember where she injects people and close their eyes. Yeah, she definitely wasn't healing that brother, that's for sure. She has another one. <laughs> Isn't she supposed to be a healer? Why is she shocking people and stabbing them with violence? Like, what is going on? All right, our next one is Gibraltar. Gibraltar is another one that I feel like we don't have like a ton of character on, but he has so much personality in himself that I don't think it matters as much as someone like Caustic. But definitely needs some Gibraltar cinematics, some more lore behind him. Give it to me. If it exists, let me know. Oh, that's a sick skin, dude. Look at his arm and his helmet. Hey, because he does like a hacker, right? <laughs> Is his hearty laugh after all that too? So cute, man. He's so wholesome. Dude. He's just so good. He's He's got another one too, so I'm guessing he's got three. <laughs> oh. 
I'm mad because this reminds me of the old WWE wrestler Rikishi. My man just got up after. Bro, that last one has got to be some kind of Rikishi reference. He's like Dwayne the Rock Johnson's cousin or something. Samoan drop? Yeah. That's hella funny, dude. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So this finisher was actually the one that was the longest. That we said is something like eight seconds. Man, honestly, I don't care how much danger there is around me. If I can get this off with Gibraltar, I'm gonna try and do it every time just because it's hilarious. Also, how do you select the finishes? Do you have to do that before the game starts? Because if characters have multiple finishes, you have to be able to select that some way, right? Right here. Next one is the last one, sadly, but it is Bloodhound. So apparently Bloodhound has a few different finishes and is the only one that has a special skin, a prestige skin finisher. So that should be interesting. Bloodhound Loki looked like a robot then. All right, what we got here? Dude, this looks like um that one metabot, Rakusha. Also, that finisher felt kind of basic for me. That's okay though. Oh, okay, that's that's more violent. <laughs> the crow comes in and pecks. That's messed up. All right. Oh, the respect, bro. I can't tell if that's actually respect or disrespect on Bloodhound's part. Because they like, hey, you know what? Here's your gun, homie. Salute. Like, is is that respectful or disrespectful? I don't I don't know. <laughs> like it came across respectful to me, but then I thought about it. Whoa. What? You stole Watson's finisher. I'm guessing this is the one. I'm guessing this is the prestige skin one because that looks like Bloodhound ain't gonna do that ordinarily. Dude, that's wild. Yo, their uncle would not like that though, all the tech. <laughs> that is not the old way, that's for sure. You said $500 finisher, is that much it costs for that? Yeah, they vaporize the same way that um, Watson vaporizes them. I am very much hoping that we're gonna get more of those prestige finishes and like prestige skins introduce more of those ea do it sadly that is it for the apex finishes i'm gonna be honest bloodhound's last one was pretty sick i am in love with gibraltar's samoan drop <laughs> i know that you all have lobas but let me know what your favorite finisher was in the comments i'd love to hear i want to see if there's variation or whether like most people prefer a certain one Either way, I do want to go about reacting to different people like It's Timmy, for example, when it comes to Apex gameplay. Maybe even some Valorant gameplay so I can learn for myself and just see amazing plays. If you want to see that, if this video hits 2,000 likes, then we'll start up that series too. The video where I play Apex for the first time is coming. Don't worry about it, guys. You'll see it. You'll get it. Keep waiting. I'll catch you guys next time.